Hoberg effect is always important for MCQ. So, what is Warburg, Otto Warburg, right? He studied the cancer and then he found this that he called Warburg effect. So, what do you mean by the Warburg effect is that increased utilization, what is the definition? Increased utilization almost 10 times of the glucose, right? by the cancer cells okay and production of lactate as the end product even in the presence of oxygen sufficient oxygen right so even in the presence of oxygen so guys that's the definition right exactly written by Warburg fine so why the cancer cells switch to a pathway which only produce 2 ATP fine so first of all this is the question that why the cancer cell switch to the less efficient uh, less efficient glycolysis right they can utilize because they have more demand so they can utilize even the fatty acid oxidation which may generate 106 ATPs from one mole of palmitic acid right so why they are using this so there are two reasons for that guys right? first of all you know in case of the tumor outgrows in size right so if the tumor outgrow in size becomes massive so obviously guys a massive tumor may have very limited oxygen supply right okay and that needs the and uh, this type of you know glycolysis where oxygen is not required okay guys let me tell you one thing first of all that Warburg effect is also known as aerobic glycolysis so please don't call it anaerobic glycolysis a big mistake it will be if you call this anaerobic glycolysis see warburg used this word aerobic and it has been asked in exams also like this way that which of the following is a major source of energy to the cancer cell and your answer will be aerobic glycolysis don't say anaerobic thinking ki lactate is produced that is a catch okay so why the warburg call it aerobic because he said even in the presence of oxygen that's why okay okay if the tumor outgrows in size right so low oxygen environment will be there and you know this will be producing sufficient energy right so this change help in survival right this change, I mean Warburg effect will help in survival. You can write that, okay, instead of this change, you can write Warburg effect will help in survival. Second point, guys, glycolysis enzymes are very commonly present in cytoplasm and they are always expressed, okay. So, the glycolytic genes are almost always expressed, fine. So, the point is that it's a faster way, right. So, can generate ATP right equivalent to oxidative phosphorylation right okay at a faster rate why I said this faster rate because it is uh, being done by the enzymes which are easily available and which are easily induced if required uh, if the mitochondrial genesis or the mitochondrial enzymes needs you know a lot of uh, regulation actually so that is why so the cancer cells are able to quickly make though they are making only two atps but they will quickly use the 10 to 20 times of glucose and make the same number of atps instead of using the mitochondrial pathways for making energy Right, I'm not saying mitochondria is not working in cancer cells. It is. 
right it right guys so this is why why one more point is which is actually very important and has been asked as mcq that glycolytic intermediates okay glycolytic intermediates provide right provide uh, or are utilized you can say so glycolytic intermediate are utilized for dna synthesis that is purines or pyrimidine synthesis or you can say cancer cell proliferation and this is what cancer cell need that they need a source of their uh, you know proliferation so what is needed they need dna duplication so what is required for dna duplication we need the purines and pyrimidines synthesis and to make the purines and pyrimidines we need the pantoses and guys pantoses are made by hmp patients so for example during the glycolysis so we will be getting uh, the cancer cells in this case will produce large amounts of let's say g6p okay first let's talk about g6p fine and guess this g6p can be utilized in hmp shunt and hmp shunt will make the pantoses pantoses will make the dna clear one more point i want to add is that glycolysis will provide the you know there is increased rate of glycolysis so increased rate of g3p production also distaldehyde and guys you will see later that g3p is utilized in lipid synthesis okay actually it will provide as a glycerol moiety for the production of uh, the various glycerophospholipids or the lipids which contain glycerol fine which are also part of the membranes okay so the growth is taken care of by the warburg effect actually you can see especially the dna synthesis and so this point is already very important that why the cancer cell use this because of this is the answer fine